Hands on. Let's begin with the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome everybody to the June 28th Marin County Commission meeting. Today is payday, so let's dive right into it. Okay. First we have sales tax. Um, I questioned this morning why it was so low. Yes. And um, the used tax was not included, so I made copies for everybody. Oh, okay. And that Damn is <laughs> on the desk. And the total is um, $81,677.14. There is still a down, a down trend. All right, okay. next we have, you're welcome. Um, we have uh, for Elcon properties, uh, amount for 1500 okay, Any questions on the Elcon properties invoice? If not, is there a motion to approve? I'd make that motion. Motion by Commissioner Dahlke, is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Crowfoot. Any questions? If not, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, all opposed say nay. Motion carried 4-0. Stay. is online. Oh, sorry. Jonah, was that an abstain? abstain? Okay. Four in favor, one abstain. Okay. There's some Western Associates. Yep, Western Associates is next in the amount of $1,017. Is there any questions? All men. Okay. You know, we're right in the middle of budget time. We've got, to, we've got to run this county on a Chevrolet budget. But we have, I'm not singling out any department, but uh, there's some Cadillac tastes out there. Uh, you know, you were paying 170 bucks a piece for a sweater. I worked 45 years in private business, and the most I ever got was a t-shirt. Now, I know that some of our departments have to have uniform type things, but to me, that's outrageous. And I'm just representing taxpayer money. That's what I'm doing. But I've looked at that for months and months. This isn't the first time. It's been happening at least every other month. And uh, we talk about wise use of money. We talk about efficiencies. And if we don't have efficiencies, we can't get the budget that I'm looking for. I don't know what you guys are looking for. But I'm, lo I'm looking for some tax relief this year. It's going to hurt in some areas. Anyway, it's my two cents. Okay. Uh, any other comments? Yeah, uh, Ken, I Ken, I think it does not hurt to spread the message, and we've never spread that message to take more time to find more valuable stuff. If we need it, we need it. But if we don't need it, let's do without it. I, I don't well, know. Like to me, it's it's just it's efficiency of scale. I've been in private business long enough to know that. Cash has value. If you've got cash, you've got the ability to go out there and make deals. If you have a taste for something, you're just going to go spend it. So, I, I just say that it's budget time. And have we ever cut a budget? No, we never have. Been here, sitting here 20 years. Never cut a budget. Well, I can tell you this year, if we don't cut a budget, you're not, you're not going to even be close to revenue neutral. Well, that's, that's, that's some decision-making we have to make. So, yeah. um, Chris, wasn't this a grant that you got for uniforms from some? Uh, so the particular line item for the health department was paid out of grants. Yeah. A grant. The uniforms for the employees. Still tax money. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Grants aren't free. All right, lengthy discussion on the $800. Uh, is there a motion to approve? I make a motion to 
Okay, so moved. Okay, motion by Commissioner Gehring, second by Commissioner Dalkey. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, nay. Aye. I abstain. Okay, three in favor. Decker opposed, one abstain. And next we have the payday totals. Uh, the total payday is one million five hundred fifty-one thousand two eighty-four and twenty-six cents. Okay, questions on the payday. Uh, page 17, uh, Road and Bridge Internet, that big amount to be, is that, does that cover the iPads or, and is that the average billing per month or was that a one-time deal? Let's find it real quick. Yeah. On my page numbers? Page 17. Page 17. Can I hide this anymore? You can 15. It. There we go. You're getting good. <laughs> <laughs> Try and okay, okay down at the bottom. One? That Verizon. Uh, Vi I think he's talking about the Vive. Yeah, um, Road and Bridge Internet. So e broadband. There's a thousand ninety nine and two thirty seven. Okay, we I can pull wondered. that. We can pull that invoice. But they they now they have the internet phones as well for the twelve forty commercial. So it's not just internet. They also have their phones through Vive now. So um, I can pull that voucher and look at it. Measures you can spend on the internet and phones. What? That's amazing what you spend on the internet and phones everywhere. Well, I, I was thinking about those iPads and those things. Maybe it's something else. We'll, have to, we'll look at it and see. But I'm, pr I'm pretty sure those the iPads are on Verizon, Verizon. not on Vive. So are internet phones, what cost wise, are internet phones? Plus, we have fiber um, over there, which is one thing that we're getting. Um, you've already approved it and a project to add the ambulance department onto that broadband right. over there so that we can get rid of the ambulance internet. Let's see. And I can look up what we paid before, but we have uh, $500 is for um, fiber for the month. And then they have um, hosted executive seat. Do you know what that would be, Kobe? That's part of the, the phones. phones. Yeah. So there's two $204 charges. One is from, so it's for two months from May, May for May and June, $204. So that should go down to a monthly. So we, have, we have to pay a separate charge for fiber? Your, uh, well, that's our internet. It's, internet. it's fiber oh, internet. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah. 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 It's, it's the, it's it's, the one-gate service. Yeah, so it's a big internet service to cover, like, for mapping and all the things that they're doing over there. So. And it'll combine EMS with I it. thought maybe that was just a set fee to be able to have broadband or whatever it is. <laughs> Right, but that, that is the internet service, and right. then their phones are over it. So um, I, I believe that will be going down to, it said we had a previous balance. I paid, let's see. There's a couple of charges on here that are for two months. So it looks like what our normal charges are going to be would be the 500 for fiber. Uh, there's, a, uh, and then like $230 for the Phones plus taxes, so it'll be more around the seven hundred. Is that for all three departments? Yeah. There's something to be said here. We we do want to, we we branched out and want to do nice things, but this hodgepodge. Of, yep, that building looks good. Let's let's do it. 
So we spend 500, whatever it may be, a month over there. What about the next building? Oh, I want to go somewhere else. That's another 500. Sometimes those, when you do these things, you don't see these hidden things that comes up with, with that. And, and so, so what I'm getting at is you still need to stick to one cost. That 500 could be split with 10 more departments out there. I, I'm not saying, I'm saying 10, but, but it's just when you spread out, do these things over here, do things over there, Everybody's getting charged for that fiber and all that kind of stuff. We've created some of our own, some own, our own bills and things. And I think that really needs to be looked at when you do something. Is if you can centralize your costs for that and, and you know whatever it may be, gas or whatever. One thing I apologize that 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 building's a little different. It's it's a one-off environment. The, the offset cost is your you don't have any hardware expense out there. The reason that you have a one gig fiber out there to be able to be split between three departments, now four, once we bring EMS on for the one time, literally when I change fiber to connect the buildings, okay. all four departments can use it and there's no servers out there. But you need that pipe so your servers can be back here. So you have one server, not 15 and 15 buildings at 10,000 to 30,000 a pop. So it may sound like a $500 bill is a big thing, but it's it's watered down because you're not, you're not deploying that management, consumption of power, hardware resources, out there, so so your re, your return will will start tidal waving back once you get your infrastructure out there like this. But it does stick out right now. Obviously, is a big bill, yeah. but you you have to have that that pipe pathway back here secure, um, and so it's just a different way. So instead of having a bill from uh, CDW and AT and T and Vive all in one, you've got it all ported through one. If if that helps, okay. maybe understand that. But what if that building was built right over here? in the parking lot somewhere or right over there on that lot over there. Sure. And and could it all be under this hub here? Uh, depend, yeah, once the infrastructure's in, you could, yes. Yeah. So you'd have an infrastructure so, expansion cost. So. so it's just things like that that when we do these buildings and things, it, it's... It, well, I've noticed I've had more questions from constituents when it comes to uh, uh, satellite facilities and... It's hard for me to answer because the main question they ask me is, oh, you're going to spend that much on a building. What's your monthly cost on it? Yeah, yeah. If I can't answer it, I feel kind of like a fool. Yeah. Because I, some people are coming up with some ungodly amounts yeah. as far as mon monthly you know, utilities, maintenance, and all of these things, insurance. So the utility, I will say, it looks right now like the utilities out there are gonna be less than what we were even paying on this one building here. Well, I can see where so, you know, it should be more efficient, yeah. for sure. Yeah, and those are things that we are gonna start tracking and paying more attention to now that we have the ability to do that. Uh, is to, a million things to, you can track. Yeah, <laughs> so one, one thing, a goal that I have is to track all of the the phone charges, the internet charges, all the utilities, and and then break that down by location so that we ha so that we know the answers to those questions. Because the way our our accounting is set up, we enter the bills, but we don't have a way to separate those out really you by facility. By doing that, it'll it gives us the ability to get a better deal. Right. Exactly. We got the information on. Right. That. Right. So that's yeah, one. I know that's a lot to track, but it's important. I feel like it's important to start tracking that and to, you know, be able to answer those questions as far as what each location is costing. Right. Yeah. We're also trying to course correct on where technology is today as opposed to implementing 40-year-old technology into new buildings. And because there's your cost inefficiencies that will happen five to ten years down the road, it'll be a rip-out replace when there's no infrastructure support. So that upfront cost and swing is going to spike right now. Just doing this obviously private business for many years as well too the entire goal of any spend whether it's you know like we talked earlier or whatever too is to have that reduction later and even if it's um, an equal net sum of zero then we get more benefits and features out of whatever that spend is because the technology we're implementing works better and more efficient for the departments whatever that is whether it's phones internet or other um, EM, EMS cool. is on vibe now aren't they out there or at and I think. I can't remember for sure, but they're separate. They're on that's, a... That'll be $80 a month that will come off. And, and that's the goal is to be able to leverage it. But again, kind of to your point, if we put a building out there, we just have to physically connect them. Once they're connected, then we can leverage infrastructure as long as we have that um, in place. And that was the goal. 
um, out there. And well, then while we're talking about that building, what's the twenty two hundred dollar repair? Uh, there was a, a, a an oops um, road and bridge accidentally. They were trying to put some rock down, and one of the buckets shifted and hit the building. And so we had an option to do a three hundred fifty dollar patch repair, but then the warranty of the siding goes away from the manufacturer or to do it right. And so Road and Bridge made the decision that they wanted to take that out. And it was just a, it was just a one-off accident. So. Yeah. Wonderful. It happened while we were all over there in a meeting. And we heard that. You was in the meeting? We heard a big crunch on the outside of the building. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> and unfortunately that's the nature of any construction of anything large or small. Things do happen yeah. obviously. But that's what, that's what that was. Yeah. I, I don't know what size equipment, but you just put too big equipment in two little spots. and. and and that's that's yeah. We tried duct tape for about forty five days as we're waiting on the siding and it held, but I didn't know if it hold forever. So it was a pretty good size hole in the side. And the way those siding pieces interlock to be able to keep the water shedding effect going in the seal on the building, they had to basically take off siding almost the whole east side of the door and south. Didn't break the plate or nothing down on the bottom. So and the original guys that did the building came back and they Good. were the ones to do it. So that way they could continue to work. So that was, and I gave Steve the option to determine and that's what they decided. So, okay. Very good. Other questions? Next. If there's no further questions, is there a motion to approve? I'd make that motion to approve. Okay, motion by Commissioner Dahl. Second. Second by uh, Commissioner Becker. Further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried 5 0. Someone from above speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Missed that trumpet. <laughs> Jonah. Morning. I tend to have that effect, I guess. Got a heavy pen too, but I left everything at home this morning. Are you selling fireworks now? Or? Yep. Okay. Hopefully it stays damp. <laughs> I think of course channel twelve's got some moisture. Got some moisture for quite a few days. Usually, Fourth of July, it's yeah, hot and dry and fire danger. Yeah. Oh it, yes. Or it's flooded. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for that, Tina. Well, that has flooded. happened. That's when the 2019 flood was. That's why. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, that concludes payday. Uh -huh. okay. Administrative. Uh, really, um, I don't have anything ad on administrative, but I do have a security discussion that we need to have. Okay. That would be an executive session. And how long? Probably 10 minutes. I move that we recess an executive session in order to discuss security matters pursuant to KSA 75-4319B. That is the last one, item 13, matters related to security measures. With Commission Tina and Kobe. Second. For 10 minutes. Beginning uh, 920 to 930. So I'm guessing that that was a motion by Commissioner Gary. Well, he seconded. He seconded. Second. Second. Oh, seconded. That's right. He's in a different time zone. You made the motion. Yeah. Yeah, I was in the middle of it. Yeah, you made the motion. Okay, we got a motion and a second. All those in favor? Hard to be heard. Aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. Aye. Motion to back at 930. Does, does Jonah just want to call in or do we want to? Um, um, to the I'll call Dave Bueller, so. Okay, that'll work. We're out of executive session, no decisions made. We do need to have another 10 minutes. So I move that we recess to executive session in order to discuss security matters pursuant to KSA 75-4319B, item 13, matters related to security measures with the commission, Kobe and Tina for 10 minutes. Be from 931 to 941. Second. Second by, uh, second by Commissioner Dalkey. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. Motion carried 5 0 back at 941. Okay. You're on. Yep. All right. Out of executive session, no decisions made. Uh, anything else, Tina? 
Nope. All right. Uh, would, would the commit council have time to discuss a process that we voted down a lot, but I just like to discuss it and see if there's worth putting on the on the agenda for next week. Um, just just some discussion. Okay, uh, payday is. I guess it's all right. To, if it's not an action item. Not an action item. Okay. No. Uh -uh. Okay. Go ahead. I just like to get some feelings. So, uh, are we ready for it? Yeah. Okay. This is our program, the neighborhood revitalization program. Okay. Yep. And uh, again, first time homeowner goes through the process. They're getting real. First time, this time. This is not a repeat like we had the last time. A lot of them are cases are first-time homeowners. I asked them on the phone. I said, "Did you not see it? Did you not? Why? What? How's come you're bringing it to me now? Well, because it got turned down by the appraiser's office." And I said, "Okay." They we went back. I asked them to go back and look at their building permit. This this application for for the revitalizations stapled to it, but they got their permit. So let's do this. Let's, don't even look at that second piece of paper. And this is comments. I mean, this is, and if you don't know what it is, if you've never been told what it is, you're ready to build a house. So I understand the first time homeowners, first time processors through this, that what is it? We don't know what it is. They've never had it before. So anyway, I'm just wondering if it's worth bringing up to whether First time homeowners, they're going from a certain price property this year and putting a new house on it, re helping our county and this young people doing this. It's not, it's not old people like me, but, uh, or you, Dave. But anyway. I'm going to build. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just saying, those kind of people we want. They've got kids mm -hmm. and stuff. We want them in our county. And I can't say anything else, but that's. That's what it, that's what I know so far from investigating what I've done over the phone, and it brought me to here we go again, <laughs> here we go again. Uh, but it's first time homeowners this time. But they should have read all the paperwork. Should have read the per and they 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 acknowledge that they said, "Man, we got our permit. We're so happy." Showed them people and who cares about that second page? And, but it was there. It was there on the permit. Whether whether it's our problem, whether we don't explain it enough to a first time, you know, we just hand it out. It's on there. I, I, All you can do is emphasize you need to go through the documentation. Yeah, yeah. If you don't do it, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's what I'm just asking because that's the question asking me whether I should pursue it or not for them, and I just I'm just saying. I, I, it was there, and they didn't. Read. Yeah, and they're admitting this. So, um, can we improve ourselves? I think we probably could. How far do we want to push our employees to do this? So, yeah, I'm, thank you, Kent. I appreciate well, I think, it. I think the employees ought to say, when they give them the permit, please review thoroughly. Yeah. You know, what else can you do other than that? Yeah. If they don't, they don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just, everybody's got a thought here, and I'm, like I said, I'm trying to make it make it comfortable so we we've done our job to try, mm -hmm. and we've we've got it, now we've got it stapled to the back of the building permit, and that's farther than we was before. Is that far enough? That's all I'm going to say. We're done for today. Done for done for conversation. Let's move on in the meeting. I'm just somebody's somebody's got some. You know what you do? Just read it to them. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Read 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 all the documentation. Right. I, I, like I said, I just wanted to bring it forward, and so I've done my job. And I get a, if anybody has a further view of what we can do, appreciate the ideas so we can look at it. Thank you. I'm done. Should have had Dad check it over for. Well, I mean, it's 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 none of my relation. Well, no, but I mean, not you, but I mean, yeah, somebody else in the family should have read. Yes. Both pages. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anything else? If not, I move to adjourn. Second. Second by Commissioner Dalkey. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried 5-0. We are adjourned.